Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So today we will check the current energies of masculines and then we will go a little deep into what's happening with them, what's going on in their mind, what's the guidance for them and as the divine counterpart, where should you be working in terms of helping your masculines in your twin flame journey. So if we look at the current set of spread, what I feel is that the masculines are somewhere going through a tower moment. <laughs> and the next card that we have in the lovers, five of pentacles, postulant, knight in reverse, and then six of suns and two of stars. Okay, so it is pretty simple that the masculines are right now going through a tower moment. It seems like, you know, in the past, if I see, if you look at the bottom of the deck, the card is the prophetess. So something was actually going good with the masculines. Somewhere they were settling with the karmics. They were trying to find their peace with the karmics. They were not able to realize that even though they were feeling this sadness, even though they were feeling some sort of grief and disappointment within themselves, they were still trying to, you know, convince them that this is the person I'm supposed to be with. This is the person who is doing certain things for me. And I should, even if I am feeling this certain way about my counterpart. But right now I am with the karmic. So I should give more attention to this person who is already there in my life. And I should not cry over the spirit. But... Because the universe doesn't want them to settle for less. And of course, you are also working towards your union. So that is not going to happen. So I feel that the masculines currently are going through a Tavo moment where they were trying to settle for less. They were trying to settle for someone who does not belong to them. Has given them some Tavo moments that has again brought them back to a situation where they are realizing that what they feel for you the cupid has you know literally pointed their arrow on them and now they are they are coming into the realization that this person that they were trying to be with was not no one but just a false belief in them that they can ever be happy with them but now as they are realizing with this tower moment that they cannot be happy and the balance needs to come in their emotions in their practical life all this while they were doing things for the other person, they were, you know, just telling themselves that this is how it should be. This is how we are supposed to do things for them. But they were not receiving anything. And right now, if you look at this card, if you look at the picture here, they are feeling like this, that constantly they have been betrayed. Constantly they were taken from and now they're not left with anything to give. And at the moment, the masculine may also feel that they don't even have a lot to give to their feminines, which is why the feelings that they are going through are pretty intense and they need a lot of peace right now. They need a lot of compassion. They need a lot of love. And how this love will come, see, if you look at this card and you see a bird here, what it is indicating is that even though you're watching from afar, like if I talk about a physical distance, you're watching them from afar and you're seeing that what is happening you cannot go get into this scene and do things. But if we look at this color of the bird, the bird is white in color. That talks about peace and purity. By you staying in your peace and your purity is automatically going to help your masculine build that strength, build that power within them to be able to fight this and come out of this situation. Right? When this is done, when they get this, situation when they come out of this situation they might go through a brief period where they may totally turn inwards and realize everything that happened between both of you when it happened and then the sequence of events that happened and where they kind of abandoned you or left your space to go with other people and they are going to realize their mistakes so this is the energy that I feel of this particular week of masculines. And this is when they are going to realize that, you know, the power is already within them. When they used to tell you that probably it's not in your destiny to be together. Some of your masculines have said that. 
it's they even realize that it was not destiny it was their choice it was and now the choice can be changed and they are willing to change they are willing to totally turn the tables and fight for this connection they are willing to move forward in this connection so that both of you as king and queen come together and you know shine bright and you know share your love the power of unconditional love with the universe so this is what the masculines are feeling overall at the moment and this is what is going to happen with them let's pull out some more cards that what will happen when both of you come together as king and queen oh two of stars six of cup eight of sun and two of pentacles okay so a lot of balance will definitely come and i do see when you both come together a lot of people are going to interfere in your life it may not be the third person necessarily but it may be the people around you it could be someone from your family or your counterpart's family who are watching this connection very closely who are not happy about the connection but you know the good thing is like earlier when this used to happen masculines always thought more about what these people are thinking and if they don't end up hurting them but this time i do feel that you know they are going to take that leap of faith they are going to place more trust in you and they will not let anyone interfere in your life because this time they will come with proper boundaries they will come with stringent boundaries that no one will be able to cross and even if people do have issues with your connection with your relationship like all the karmic connections they will not be able to bother your twin flame so which is a good thing which is a sign of strength which is also you know the divine guidance i also strongly feel that you know at this particular time archangel raphael and archangel michael are closely guiding you and walking with you on your union to be able to give you the necessary support that you might need and this is the time you know when victory is in your hands how the victory is in your hands is if i come back to this card if you stay like this bird that you are just grounded in your peace even if you are not getting triggers about lot many things and then you're like okay what should i do just stay in your peace stay within yourself you don't have to go and stand as a shield because stand as a shield in front of your masculine but all you have to do is go deep in words and that is going to give him the inner strength that he needs at the moment when this happens this is when you know the victory will be in your hands if you look at this card so the outside influence the people who are trying to create outside influence between you and your twin flame will finally realize that there's no point trying to sabotage this connection because this connection is meant to be so it's a good news for a lot of you because if this reading resonates with you definitely there's some sort of communication meeting that's going to happen with your twin flame and this is going to be a very peaceful time in your life this is going to be a beautiful time in your life because you will feel that you know your masculine is coming and meeting you in his complete divinity he's showing he's coming like a king to you he's wanting to nurture you he's wanting to take care of you he's wanting to do many 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 things for you this is the energy of divine masculines and how he is going to take care of the outside influence now let's see that what should be the role of feminines here okay so these cards fell off the first card that we have was feminines is stress which is a seven number card second is turning in conditioning all right cool so similar energies like we hope for masculines because deep down you are so intuitive and you're so connected to your counterpart despite you not knowing everything that is actually happening in their life you just get to know what is happening in their life and that somewhere you know starts building up that pressure and that stress within yourself 
But you know, even if that stress is coming from you, it's not coming to you from somewhere outside. It's already there. So instead of giving too much to that stress, the clear instruction for you is to just turn inwards. If you see, if you look at this card correctly, this woman is just sitting and while there are silhouettes around her. So there are going to be outside influences. There are going to be a lot of conflicting thought patterns in your mind, a lot of fear-based patterns that will try and, you know, get your attention, get your space so that you fall back into that illusion where, you know, you fall into the trap of societal condition. Now, it is up to you whether you create a strong boundary and you keep turning inwards and know that, you know, what is happening in your life and this outside influence, this fear, this conditioning cannot sabotage your union that is going to give this lion the strength that a lion has lion is the symbol of strength and power you know but if you see here he is basically you know tied down with iron chains so if you listen if you get yourself influenced if you let yourself be influenced by these factors this is going to be the situation of your twin flame staying here you know, when people are attacking and then the conditioning is, you know, like that. But if you stay in yourself, not affected by what is happening, going deeper and deeper in your mirror exercise, in your inner work, this lion has the power to unleash himself, definitely unleash himself and come into that, his true form, his true divinity, how God exactly created him. This may also, you know, bring in some Davo moment for you, wherein you may certain things happening on the outside that may make you feel that, okay, what work am I doing? Is it even bringing me results? But all you have to do is trust your creator, trust your source, because even if this situation is coming to you, it has a purpose. So when you, instead of giving in to the problem, actually, if you try to understand that why is the situation coming to you and what could be the guidance for you and what is it that you need to work on, then you, I feel, will stop feeling like an outsider in your twin flame's life or it could be you feeling that your twin flame is an outsider in your life. The truth is that we all know that we and our twin flames are one. But somewhere your mind keeps coming back to you and starts making you feel that okay they're separate from you so if you're still into that zone if you're still into healing into your separation consciousness and coming into awareness that you and your twin flame are one at the court so it's time that you stop doing that and this is the biggest block that you need to work on wherein you feel that okay i'm still looking as an outsider into my twin flame's life the reality is that whatever he is also fighting is something that you also are going through in your internal hurdle. He is just doing it on the outside. You are doing it through your inner work, right? So stop feeling like an outsider because you are not. If we look at the bottom of the deck, we have receptivity, comparison, harmony. We are the world. All of this healing that you are doing will come back to you multifold. It's not like sometimes you know you start feeling stuck. Some of you may also be feeling that, okay, someone else who is doing the work has been receiving so much of harmony, so much of blessings, breakthroughs. But what is happening with me? So understand that, you know, there is no comparison between you and your journey and someone else's journey, right? Your harmony is within. And till, till the time we will keep looking on the outside, that harmony does not come from outside. It is very much present within you. So all you need to do is that trust your healing. It will come back to you multifold. If you love yourself 10 times, you know, just have faith that God is there to love you a million times of it, right? And that's the only rule of God. God loves you. God loves you so much. And which is why you are here on this journey so that you can experience that unconditional love of God. And which is why there's no point comparing yourself with others or probably people in your twin frame's life because they hold no comparison. And once you let it go, you will be able to feel that harmony within and you will know that, you know, we all, like even the people who are right now creating some issue in your union are actually doing that to you as a help. They trigger you. It's a gift for you 
because they have basically signed up a contract to be the devil in your life so that you also come into your union they're only triggering you so that they also at a soul level know that you both are meant to be and you have to come together so they signed up for that contract so thank them for what they are doing you need not compare anyone anything in your life just have faith trust in your journey we pull out some more cards first i'll pull out some more cards for masculines and let's see that what's actually happening with them as in what are they going through like what are the shadow sides and the light sides that they are working on right now i'll pull up a few cards so the first card that we have is the fool so that means that you know they are coming aware of the emotions they are feeling emotional right now this is the good part that they are actually realizing that they have emotions and what emotions are they feeling but the issue here is that they are using humor to not feel their feelings they are denying their truth so there's this part of you that's also accepting that okay this is my truth this is how i feel towards people around me towards my twin flame towards this connection but then they are also using this denial method no 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 it's just temporary i will get out of this situation so they're just wearing a false mask and deep down they are really sad the second card that we have for masculines is the alchemist basically some transformation is happening in their life when where they are able to purify their consciousness they are able to understand that how the law of universe works but somewhere you know that even if they are receiving that much power they either may not be taking full complete use of it or they are misusing their power now misusing their power does not necessarily mean bad but it may mean that okay if they are feeling powerful they are coming more in control like the divine control then it could be a situation where they are getting stuck in some of the practices like the common practices that are okay as per society and the third card is the goddess again if i look at all three cards it's talking more about you know that they are coming into their emotions so their feminine is getting activated but somewhere they are not accepting it completely there is denial so what is it the feminines need to work on to be able to come out of this situation wherein there is stuck energy in the first card it makes complete sense the first card is warrior wherein you know you have the strength skill and discipline to be able to you know tone it down you are being very heroic right now but there are some ethical principles like it could be the societal programming it could be like you need to heal your causal body right now there's some beliefs like some beliefs that are tying you down some beliefs that are not letting you move forward and this is where the masculine is also not able to you know completely feel their feelings the second is servant it's very safe to express your love to your loved ones and there is a difference between serving and there is a difference between slavery so you need to understand that when your twin flame is around you or when people are around you do you stop giving to yourself and you start giving to others more because you like that or probably you have that kind of habit of being dominated it feels good to serve others but is it that you know you don't want to take your life forward you do not want to fulfill your desires first because you feel that okay it's first good to serve others no it's not right you have to first fulfill yourself and the second is the midas miser card you have the power to turn everything into gold but somewhere you are not doing what needs to be done somewhere you're trying to hold on to things and same if you look at these three cards for masculine same things they are holding on to their emotions and not able to feel it completely even if like it's like you know there is a vessel and if we say that the masculine's vessel is filled with emotions right now but it's not bursting like you know it's it's not bursting because you are also holding on to something so go deep in your inner work and see that where are you holding on to things where is it like are you turning into are you getting into apathy in the mode of apathy because that's not healthy if you are doing that 
you need to realize why you are doing that and where you are doing that and you have to stop doing that at all so i hope this reading resonated with you if you are in a twin flame journey you can sign up for our free introductory course you can visit the website and sign up for the free introductory course and you will you can like the video subscribe to our channel thank you very much